Hello everybody, my name's Tiffany, I'm the Tipsy Artist. My mission in life is to teach people all over the world how to paint with a full glass of wine and a whole lot of fun. I have two sayings in my class. The first one is, every painting is divine with a little more wine. And the second one is, there are no mistakes, only possibilities. So whether you're an artist or a beginner, grab your brushes and your wine and let's get started. And today we're going to paint happy palm trees. So we have six colors today. We have white, red, brown, yellow, blue, and then black. And then we have a whole family of brushes that will help us paint today. We have Big Daddy, Mama, Little Buddy, and Little Bit. And of course, a full glass of wine. go ahead and get started with our Big Daddy brush and I am going to load the brush by pressing back and forth into the paint on both sides and then I'm going to teach you a little bit about how to apply the paint. So this represents my canvas so you can see what it looks like on the other side. A lot of beginners will start to paint by pressing with a heavy hand and they'll hold the brush like this and as they push the paint on they push a lot of the paint off so it's very translucent. What we want to do is again load the brush with paint and don't be shy about getting a nice dollop on top of the flat side of the brush. So you want to change the way you hold the brush to the flat side and then with a very light hand apply the paint on the side. And you can see a huge difference right away. This is very translucent, this is very opaque. This is what we're going for as we add coverage to our canvas. And we're going to start by just doing black all over the front side of the canvas. X's, just think about making the letter X over and over again. And you will do this until you cover the entire front of the canvas. Okay, so now we get to take a break for about 15 to 20 minutes, let this set up and dry. That means that it's more time for wine. Welcome back. We've had a wonderful break and our 
black paint should be all dry now to the touch because we're going to be putting on the waves and the trees and all the fun little bubbles that come out of the water. So I'm going to start with my trees first and I'm going to use the mama brush. So I need to make um, this taupe color and I'm going to pick up a big dollop of white. And then I'm going to pick up a big dollop of yellow. And then I'm gonna do just a tiny amount of brown like that. And then I'm also gonna do a tiny amount of black. You wanna be careful to not use too much black because it can really overpower the color very quickly. So with the ruler, we've got six inches, and I'm just going to make a little dash right there. And then the first palm tree is just two brush strokes in width. And I'm gonna go two and a half inches, and I'm going to make another dash up. And I make the dash up with the little edge side of my brush. And then again, the thickness of the palm tree is two flat sides of the brush up. So again, that was six inches over from the left to start the first palm tree. And then I went two and a half inches over, made another dash, and then went two full flat sides of the brush up for the second palm tree. The next question that I always get is how far up do you go before you start making branches that come out? It's more than 12 inches. So I go ahead and make a little dot right here. And then it's two more inches up from here. So I make another dot. Okay. So it's 14 inches from the base. And all that tells me is that's where I'm gonna have some of these uh, palm limbs coming out. And the main thing to consider is that you want the palm to be thicker at the base. And I use the edge side of the brush as I start to make the lines that go up. And I want the base to be thicker, and I always want to move my brush in the same direction that the tree grows. So again, thicker at the base and thinner as I go up towards the top. Okay, we're getting to the part of the tree where we're going to have to start to make the branches that come out to the side. And this is a very stylized, whimsical tree that doesn't, it does resemble a real palm tree, but it definitely has a style of its own. And at first show you what a lot of beginners do when they do their palm trees. They usually make their tree end with a very flat surface here. And then they get a little frustrated because they don't think that looks natural. And then they do their branches that come out from there like this and then of course they're very unhappy with how this looks in here right here so that's normal now what you need to do is it's easily fixed and this is actually a great start and it's like making these and I blend into these and then I blend into this one and then I do the same thing here where I just connect that all the way around so it's starting to look a lot more natural now what I need to do is switch over to smaller brushes. I'm going to use a little bit. I'm going to twirl the head of the brush into the paint. That helps give me a nice fine point. And then I'm going to make my little curly cues come all the way around. So I just start with one side. I start to make a circle. And then I use my pinky to help brace my hand so that keeps my hand steady. And then I just keep curling around inside the circle and then I lift off with a very light hand. And then I connect a gradual taper to go into that swirl.
Okay, going back in with Mama Brush, I'm going to make another little baby happy palm tree here. So, And then we start to make a line up, and then I want my little baby tree to end just about right here. So I'm going to start to make these little branches that kind of just taper out here. That's how you can start. This just gives you the basic skeletal structure to start with. And you can go ahead and fill in. And now I need to concentrate on making sure that these taper in. Think about the letter V. You just want to make letter Vs. switch over to a smaller brush and then I'm going to do my little swirls. back in and do all of my happy little waves. Okay, so I'm going to pick up a big dollop of white, put that on my mixing plate, and then a big dollop of blue. And then I'm going to use just a tiny amount of that taupe that we had mixed. And I'm going to push that in, then also a little bit of the black. We're just going to start with one measurement here with a dash. So it's about one inch up, and I just do a little dash like that. You just make a hill. through these sections I need a smaller brush so I'm going to switch over to little buddy to little buddy now. I'm going to do one more wave here on the end using the edge side of the brush first. Come up and around. And I'm just going to stop there because I'm going to come back in with little bit to finish that off. first and I'm going to show you how to make a circle. I'm going to make big circles and then little circles and then little Cheerio shapes. So Mama makes the biggest circles, then Little Buddy, and then Little Bit. Okay, so I pushed down into the paint back and forth. I loaded my Mama brush and again this represents my canvas. I'm going to show you how to make a circle. So I start with the edge side of the brush and then I press out to one side and then I press out to the opposite side. So there's my circle. So you'll start with the mama, then little buddy, and then little bit.
right, so now I need to do a bunch of little red circles. So I'm going to start with Mama. I'm going to push into the red paint. And I want one big one here. So as you can see, the red is very translucent. So after you push out that circle shape, you're going to have to take the flat side of the brush with a fair amount of paint on one side, and you're going to have to apply another layer of paint with a very light hand over the top. Okay, so I've got my little bit in the white paint. I'm going to touch down and lift off and then touch down. And then I'm going to make little curly cues here in the water. This represents like the white wake in the water. I just kind of follow that gently around. I make cute little dots too. How I do that is I dip down into the white paint. I get a little dollop of paint on the end. <laughs> We have just finished our masterpiece, so congratulations, you are now a Tipsy Artist. Be sure to go visit tipsyartist.com to look up more information and more videos. And remember, every painting is divine with a little more wine. Cheers! Until next time, I'm the Tipsy Artist. Whee!